Well hi folks and welcome to another episode in my Let's Play for Dragon's Lair 3D Return to the Lair for the PC. Now if you remember at the end of the last episode we just finished the Bells and Ropes level so we are now going to move forward to Platform Madness. Okay here we are. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, there's the madness of platforms. But first of all, we've got to think about treasures. And I don't know if you spotted, um, but there was a bag of gold hidden behind this beam here. And uh, you could just make it out as uh, it, the camera first spun around as we entered the room. Oh, I think I came over here a little bit too early. So I'm going to have to try and get my timing right there. Just made it. I've actually played through this level several times and um, I really enjoy it. Actually, I think it's a really clever level and I like it very much. So we've just got to wait for that platform to come back so that we can then carry forward. We're going to jump onto here and then keep going forward so that we miss the spinning blades there. Next few platforms I like because you can just walk, <laughs> you can just walk between them. Except here where we've got to jump. Now there are a few treasures hidden in this level, and um, we'll grab those as we go. So we've already got a bag of gold and a diamond. A few others for us to collect as we go through this. Okay, so there is in this area there is a bag of gold for us to collect. So it's actually quite sneaky because it's quite dark in here. There you go. And in the shadows, it's actually quite difficult to see. Oh, that stupid bug. I apologize if there are a few kind of graphic corruption things going on in this video. Um, I recently, well, I'm working through an upgrade to my computer because I've been getting lots of issues with dropped frames. <laughs> The usual problem is, is when you solve one problem, others get created. And what has been created here is that I've, as part of my upgrade process, if I just grab the crown there, so that's hidden nicely in there, but you have to do it quite quickly because the platform doesn't stay there for long. So yeah, so as part of the upgrade process, I decided to upgrade my video card first. And I've switched from an AMD R9 390 card to an NVIDIA GTX 1070 and this is the first time I've owned an NVIDIA card in a very long time and obviously that means a whole new set of drivers and a whole new set of settings and sorry I'm just waiting for that the timing to be right here so I can move forward so I need to go now okay so yeah so I'm on an NVIDIA card with the latest drivers but what I'm finding is I'm experiencing, in this game at least, some graphic uh, corruption issues. Oh, sorry about that, folks. Yeah, and I don't think I can do a lot about them. I have I've overclocked the card and was getting them, so I have reverted it back to a non-overclocked position and I'm still getting graphical corruption. So all I can do is put it down to just the fact that the NVIDIA drivers aren't as friendly with this older uh, Dragon's Lair game than the AMD drivers were. So hopefully it won't spoil the videos and hopefully it won't spoil your enjoyment of the game. Anyway, uh, getting back to the game, that's the end of Platform Madness. And, and just because I have been having frames per second issues, I'm going to kind of do regular quick saves throughout this uh, video series. So I do apologize for that. I'm going to do one right now. 
Okay, so let's move on to another bell challenge level. So let's just take stock actually of our treasure situation. So we're on track, we've got four to collect on this level and we've already collected 32. So once we've got the four, we are on track where we'll have our 36 out of 36. So on this level, we've got two bags of gold, a goblet and a diamond to collect. So that's what I'm just going to top up on some health. The two health orbs that are in there. Now what I hate about this particular bell challenge room, and it, I don't know if other rooms later on in the game are like this one, in that this one has a fixed camera angle. And that really sucks because I just, I'm assuming they did this as a weak attempt to ramp up the difficulty level in this particular, in this particular room. But that is just plain, that's a plain cop out if you ask me. Because yes, it does make it more difficult, um, but unfairly so. You know, make the puzzles harder. <laughs> Too much talking and not enough thinking there. I very nearly uh, lost the plot there, so. Ah, it's a stupid thing every time I try and do a, a jump like that. So get over to this other bell and hit it in the time period and then as in the other bell challenge room the gate vanishes and we get to uh, hopefully get to the exit door so I need to get ready for the two knights here so I'm going to charge up my sword and dispatch them both that way Okay, so before I exit, I now need to get, I don't know if you noticed them there, it's a bag of treasure above these moving pieces, whatever they are, <laughs> barricades, and there's another bag of gold on the other one. So we'll just uh, get to the center first of all. So we'll just move forward now, <laughs> without dying hopefully. Just about it. Go up there, get that bag of gold, and drop down and get back away from there. <laughs> Try and jump up when it's actually there. Oh goodness. No! <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Oh come on, Dirk. Right. That'll do. Right, so we've got the two bags of gold in this room and we have the exit door open. So let's get out of here while we can and move on to the next bell challenge room. Which is where we are now. And now we can control the camera angle. So it's like, yeah, it was just a cop out in that room that you couldn't control the camera angle. So again, as I said, just because of frames per second issues, I'm just going to um, do a quick save here and then I can stop and restart recording. So just bear with me a moment. Okay, so this is the second bell challenge and we need to, first of all, move on over here to this side. Now, first of all, we need to get rid of that wall that's in the way. See, you can see there's like a Beyond this rope that you can see, there's another rope dangling, so we need to get rid of this wall. And that will then give us a path to a bell that's at the far end of the room. And that will allow us to easily complete the bell challenge there. It is. There you go. So, let's got rid of that wall that was in our way. Now I find this room actually quite tricky. I, the bell challenge itself, um, what am I doing? I need to go back and complete the bell challenge first. So we're going to go over here and do the bell challenge. The bell challenge is actually really quite easy on this. I'm going to ignore the, the um, 
pesky night that's there because we're on a timer. Um, yeah, but the bell challenge is really kind of easy because you just need to spin over from those three ropes, run off from here, and we can do a rolling jump at this end because you can almost drop any distance or any from any height with a rolling jump and Dirk will take no damage. So the bell challenge as you saw is actually really quite easy. The tricky part in this room is um, getting the two treasures and the two treasures that are left in this room. Just go back to the treasure screen. We've got the two bags of gold from the bell challenge room that we, we came out of uh, before we entered this one. But we have a goblet and a diamond to collect. And um, yeah, so they're a bit trickier in this room. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick save here. Okay folks, so we're just going to go over to the other side of the room and we'll do that by jumping onto this beam and then grabbing the rope there. Or we might have been able to actually grab the other beam. Uh, it just depends on how you move while you're in midair. Now I couldn't use the level walkway that's uh, in front of Dirk in the distance there because it's too far away from that rope. Um, so you have to use the two beams that were sticking out that stone pillar to get across to the side of the room again. And we have to do that one more time before we can leave this room, which is rather annoying because I find that last jump, I mess it up so many times. Um, so I'm really not looking forward to trying it again. Anyway, so we're over here now and I'm actually going to dispatch this knight because it's really annoying me. Ah! <laughs> Get behind him, Dirk, you fool. There we go. Oh, at least I got a little bit of health back. So that was a bit of a foolish move. I didn't really need to do that. And I probably would have been better off not doing it. But oh well. At least I got to demonstrate how bad I am at swordmanship. <laughs> so anyway, so we're back over here for the first piece of treasure. And we've got to climb up to the top of the third rope because the first piece of treasure, which is a goblet spinning away there at the end of that top rafter, and it's way up here. So we're gonna come back around, and Dirk, and run down to the end of the beam to get the goblet. Now there's just one more piece of treasure, and that's the diamond, and you should just be able to, around the center of the screen, on that beam that's sticking out of the stone pillar, you should just be able to see the diamond there. So that's where we're off to next. Okay, now I'm going to just do a rolling jump from here because Dirk doesn't take any damage when he does a rolling jump. So now we need to get to the second of those two little beams that's sticking out of the stone pillar. So jump to the first one jump down to here jump to the second one and then we've got our diamond yeah, we've just got to jump back to there and do a running jump there okay so now we're back to what I see to find is a, an extremely tricky maneuver. So I'm actually gonna, gonna do a quick save there folks because I fluff this up so many times, sorry. Okay, see if I can do, do it this time. I have been attempting this uh, quite a few times so far and I have fluffed it up quite a few times. So let's go for the rope. Got the rope, woohoo! <laughs> I made it at long last. I can't believe it. So, yeah, anyway, I think that's the end of that level. And I forgot on the way out of here. I think it was, yeah, it's straight on this way now. So, hang on, let's just check our treasure situation. And we have our 36 out of 36 treasures. So, let's carry on. I believe now we're just going to head on up here. We have, after this, we've got our first 
boss. That is the back thing, if I remember correctly. Okay. So top up. There, and we can top up with her over here. Okay, another quick save, folks. Okay, so let's head on in and uh, see what the Bat King has in store. The thing is, you have to avoid the Bat King's sonic attack. So we're going to try and avoid that where we can. Ah! <laughs> Follow! <laughs> They're following me around. That wasn't fair. Ah. Yeah, so I think the thing is, is to pause a bit, let him lock onto you, and then run around to his side to attack him. Pause. Run. Great. Okay, that worked. Ah! <laughs> Where did that... There's a... I was only pausing there because I was just going to comment on the fact that one of his sonic attack rings came out of nowhere, which I thought was wholly unfair. <laughs> oh, come on, get up there, Dirk. Stupid Dirk. You're a sword. So there's another bell over on the right hand side. So I, what we have to do is. Strike both of the bells, and that creates enough noise to bring the back king down. And then he goes back up again. I believe we have to do that one more time. Ah! Oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm just going to move over to here to try and avoid the sonic attack. Sword Dirk! Sword! Ah! Oh, goodness sake. Sword Dirk. Okay, I'm going to top up on health a little bit here. Just because... I, <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to. Because I'm fluffing this up big time. If I wasn't so annoyed by those stupid inventory screens coming up before me when they shouldn't do. Right, so that should bring the Bat King down again. And one more hit on him. Yes! And he's unlocked the exit. Fantastic, okay. <laughs> Defeated the first boss in the game. And I didn't do too well at it. So let's get some health and top up before we move on. Okay, so, but before we leave the room, let's check on the treasures. And there is a goblet in this room that we need to collect. So, oh, sorry, I'll get my sword back out because we still need to get the health. And what we need to do is sword and we find that there's the goblet and we get enough health now to top us up completely which is exactly what I wanted. Oh, don't, don't die! Not now! Not now man! Oh dear oh dear. All right folks <laughs> that was a very inelegant run through the back king level. But I think we've got all of our treasures. So we've got 37 out of 37. And I think we'll call that a day there. I think that's enough for this episode. So thanks very much for joining me, folks, with The Bat King. And um, yeah, I look forward to you joining me next time for Dragon's Lair 3D, Return to the Lair. 
Um, if you like this video, please uh, click on the thumbs up uh, below. It really helps me out. Uh, if you haven't already, already subscribed, please click that subscribe link. And uh, yeah, I'll join you next time. Thanks very much for watching, folks. Take care. Bye-bye.